Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to explain what hazardous waste is. Now we can break it down into three types. Chemically hazardous, physically hazardous and biologically hazardous. The chemically hazardous waste is what we call things like poisons. That is, you eat them, you die. Uh, very often these things are things like heavy metals. One of the worst, of course, is lead. And lead, of course, has caused a lot of problems, particularly as it was an additive in petrol. And as the cars ran through the streets, they uh, let out their exhaust fumes, and those exhaust fumes contained lead. And therefore, we breathed this in, and it was not good for our health. So the lead uh, content of our uh, bodies increased. So that is poisonous chemicals, which are all around us, other heavy metals, other poisonous materials. Physically hazardous uh, have only really come to, um, come to fruition after, after the invention of nuclear weapons and uh, atomic and nuclear reactors. These are radiations, radioactive materials they come from. Now, you might think, well, this isn't a big problem for me. I don't know that there are any radioactive materials around. But, for example, luminous dials on clocks used to contain small amounts of radium, and that was very radioactive and quite dangerous. This kind of thing has increased quite a lot over the last 50, 60 years, and now it is significant. So these are physically hazardous radiations, and they include things like radar, microwaves from our mobile phones, and so forth. So these are physically hazardous. Be careful. Uh, some people even say the uh, alternating current of uh, mains electricity is dangerous for you too. And that would be radiation from there, magnetic fields. This is physically hazardous. Biologically hazardous is the one that we've had for the longest. Because we've always had biological hazards and uh, even back to the Middle Ages and before, you know, people died of diseases and diseases were carried by viruses and bacteria. And a lot of these viruses and bacteria are produced as a result of human or animal waste. And obviously a practical society which is very good at separating its drinking water from its wastewater is a very healthy society. And nowadays, we're much healthier in that way. So biological hazards are much less prevalent nowadays, and we're able to deal with them better. So there you are. What is hazardous waste? Well, three basic types of hazardous waste, and that's what they are. Just be careful.